So I just finished watching Insidious, The Red Door. Um, ignore me if I'm crying or look sad. I'm having a hard morning. Um, and if you see something, you didn't. It says, Josh Lambert and his college-age son Dalton grapple with the generational trauma when they uncover pressed memories of the demon haunting their family. So this doesn't, I mean, it picks up where their last movie left off. But it doesn't, because it doesn't tell you, in the original, you know that the husband killed Elise, the psychic. Um, he strangled her to death. But they don't even touch on that. They touch on the fact that she's dead, but they don't touch on the fact of, like, repercussions for her death, who killed her, what. Um, they do mention in this movie, like, close to the end, that Josh, um chased his whole family down like like he tried to kill them with a hammer or a bat or something a bat i believe and um obviously didn't succeed but it kind of plays on dimensions like the the son in the present went back and saved them in the past and it was that part was really confusing I did like the aspect of the son realizing everything, um, being in college, having his own, like, identity and shit, but I felt like the movie moved super fast, slowed, and then stopped. Like, the climax was not really a climax so much as just like a, hey, here's some information. Um... It was good. It wasn't better than any of the other ones. Um, but it was good. Uh, I'd say probably a 6 out of 10. Not like crazy up there. I did like the closure we got in the end um, with Josh and Elise. However, I know that they explained why he got divorced and all that shit, but I don't think even it, with everything settled the way it was, she would have just taken him back. And she's like, oh, if you want to come over for dinner early, blah, blah, blah. I don't think after all of that, she would have just invited him over. She probably would have said, like, um, you can come over more or something like that. I don't know. I don't I don't even know. That just part felt like so out of place to me. But, I don't know. If someone gives me that kind of trauma, I'm not inviting them back in. But that's just me. Uh, what are your thoughts on Insidious the Red Door? Please comment, like, or subscribe, and let me know what you think.